pockets of excellence across this country, we're seeing what children from all walks of life can and will achieve when we set high standards, have high expectations, when we do a good job of preparing. We also have an education crisis of the first degree. When I was a child, all our test scores were always going up, and we were all great kids. Uh, and uh, uh, but then, somehow, in the late 70s and 80s and 90s, test scores started to not go up anymore and started to go down. And uh, this is a huge, huge problem. Many, many young Americans don't know history, don't know geography, uh, don't know anything except, I guess, how to get high. And uh, What's required is not simply new investments, but new reforms. It's time to expect more from our students. Now, police are telling us tonight that there was a high school basketball game being played here. And shortly after the game began, two groups of young people got into some sort of a fight. One of those groups had members who were armed with handguns and police say automatic weapons such as Tech-9s. It's time to prepare every child everywhere in America to outcompete any worker anywhere in the world. First at 11, things get ugly at a Eugene high school when parents get in a lunchtime brawl with students. But we know that our schools don't just need more resources, they need more reform. And that is why we'll invest, we'll invest in innovative programs that are already helping schools meet high standards and close achievement gaps. Hi everyone. Every year it seems government leaders make pledges about improving education. We're told again and again that our future depends on it. So how are we doing? Not so well. Not long ago a national report found that only 35 percent of high school seniors are proficient in reading and 23 percent less than a fourth are proficient in math. Forty percent lacked even basic skills in high school math. And that's why I'm proposing a comprehensive plan to give every American child the chance to receive the best education America has to offer, from the moment they're born to the day they graduate college. As president, I will put the full resources of the federal government behind this plan. But to make it a reality, I will ask more of teachers and principals, parents and students, schools and communities. Congratulations on taking your first step towards a lucrative career as a professional food server. 
By the time we're finished, you'll have learned some of the basic yet very important tricks of the trade. And by using two tools, you can learn how to learn and begin to earn the kind of money you These deserve. People cherish now let's learn some of the key points that you'll need to know. Our expert service consultant, Tony Assist, will explain them for you now. Thank you, Dave. In the first chapter, we will start with a to table with confidence. The key to This school brought to you by the Roanoke Project. Building your future. You are special. You will make a great future. You will do great things. You will hold the knowledge to make this world great. What is easier than conformity? You will make no attempt to resist. Studies have shown that a conformist student is a happy student. Creativity is unnecessary. Any students found to be breaking the rules will be dealt with severely. Answer 212 is written in. Answer 212 is written in.